In this video, I'm gonna answer a question from a comment. Somebody asked me how to calculate a fit when you already know the dimension and the tolerance for one of the parts. So in this case, they know the dimension and the tolerance for a pin and they need to apply the fit to the hole. So in this case, the pin is 0.3125 plus or minus a tenth of a thousandth and then they need a FN1 fit. So I'm gonna to go to Machinery's Handbook, I'll put a graphic up here, and I'll write down the relevant information that we need for this calculation. So if you look up the values on Machinery's Handbook, we're gonna get an interference ranging from one-tenth of a thousandth to seven and a half-tenths of a thousandth, where the normal method would be to apply uh, positive four tenths of a thousandths to the whole plus zero, and then add uh, seven and a half tenths of a thousandths and five tenths of a thousandths to the shaft. But we can't use these numbers because we already know what the dimension and the tolerance of the shaft is. So for this calculation, we actually don't need these numbers. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase them. All we need to know is the interference. So we've got a minimum interference of one-tenth of a thousandths and a maximum interference of seven and a half tenths of a thousandths. Now, we've already got all we need to find out what the hole should be. The reason the reason this is all the information we need is that we already have the MMC of the pin and the M L LMC of the pin. So when we look at our equation, max interference, we need to find the MMC of the hole, but we know the max interference and then the MMC of the shaft, and likewise with minimum interference. Now everything's backwards with interference. This would be allowance if it was a, a positive, uh, so if you had clearance, allowance, however you wanna say it. Uh, but the way you can think about it is the max interference is the, the, you know, the tightest fit it could be. So that would be the largest pin compared to the smallest hole is your max interference. And uh, if you had allowance, this would be you know, your allowance. So the least wiggle you could have if you wanted the parts to fit freely. The minimum interference, the LMC of the hole, so the largest the hole can be compared to the smallest the shaft can be, we need this we would want this to be a negative number always if we need interference, because we want there always to be negative room between them, okay? Normally, if we want clearance between the parts, that would be a positive number. Now, it should be pretty straightforward how we're gonna solve this. The first thing we'll do is convert these wacky numbers from Machinery's Handbook into something we can use. So 0.1 becomes 0.0001, three O's and a one. Then same thing here. You could do the same thing by just moving the decimal places. Now we'll just set up the equations. So I'm just gonna reorder things. The max interference plus the MMC of the shaft equals the MMC of the hole, one of the values we're looking for. So we're just gonna add point this one right here, the maximum interference to the maximum size of the pin. So seven and a half tenths of a thousandths plus 0.3126 equals the MMC of the hole, the smallest the hole can be. And then we'll do the same thing here. So we've got the LMC and the MMC of the hole. We can write that over here. And this is gonna be our answer. That's the size, the limits of size of a hole. You would need to get an FN1 fit with this size pin. And the last thing we can do is just check our work. If we compare the MMC of the hole to the MMC of the pin, if we subtract those, we're gonna get this, this number right here, this .00075, the maximum interference. If we subtract the MMC of the hole, the LMC of the hole from the LMC of the pin, this is a little more clear to see, you'll get this ten, uh, one tenth of a thousandths number. 
So that's all there is to it, calculating a fit when you have the dimension and the tolerance for one of the sides. All you need is this information right here, the, either the clearance values or the interference values. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below.